Okay, I've made uh, similar videos on this subject. It's the early hours of the morning, so I don't intend to speak very long. Um, I have quite a lot of American viewers and subscribers, and I'm not sure what your views, their views are on the subject. But um, I don't make videos for popularity, and um, this may be a video that polarizes some of my viewers, um, which is not something I would necessarily want, but at the same time I don't censor myself from my sincere, sincere views. Um, the reason I say that is because I've had uh, quite a lot of positive feedback from my American subscribers, and um, this might be a video they strongly disagree with, which is fine, but... I think it has to be said. Um, the issue is about guns in America. And I'm not going to go into details about everything involved in this subject, but I've come across a group called Come and Take It Texas. Basically, um, from what I gather, this is an open carry group, which is, well, my American subscribers would know what that is anyway, but. Um, I'm speaking generally here to anyone who could be watching. Um, I'm a staunch, staunch supporter of gun control. I always have been, and I've made my views on that pretty clear. I, um, my response to a group like Come and Take It Texas is uh, several fold, I guess. One hand, it's absolute bewilderment. I, I cannot comprehend their mentality. I can only guess these people are deeply paranoid and deeply living in a siege mentality. Um, their logic seems to be that gun control is about taking guns, which it's not. That's a massive misinterpretation. If gun control was about taking guns, then um, you would be seeing lots of law-abiding gun owners, uh, police raids on their homes and the guns been taken away. That isn't happening. So this is the sort of false rhetoric that they pump out to slander gun control groups. But quite frankly, um, I think Americans who do hate guns and feel that there should be much less guns in society, I think they have just as much a right to an opinion as aggressive open carry people. Um, and the thing about open carry and groups like Come and Take It Texas, they are what I would call gun cultists. And I don't care if that is offensive. Because I think the greater issue is um, the thousands upon thousands of needless gun deaths in America every year. Um, I just can't... Then my, some of my other responses is frustration because it doesn't need to be this way and um, frustration that these people are trying to bully their fellow citizens and try to force their opinions and their will aggressively onto everyone else if you look at the massacres in recent years well shooting sprees I should say massacres same difference um, it's often involve people with serious mental health problems but there's no sort of uh, you know in many of those cases it isn't necessarily gang members in many of those cases the people involved um, look like an average Joe on the street it's not always a case that they're an obvious would-be spree killer now the rationale with that is that, and in every case, the killer easily accessed firearms. Now my logic is, and I think this is very reasonable logic, any one of those open carry people, or the common ticket Texas people, is a potential spray shooter. Now okay, maybe the majority aren't, but the majority have their head in the sands. 
I just can't comprehend that there is a situation today in America that there are people so misguided and so paranoid that they genuinely have a 24-hour insurrectionist mindset and they believe that the democratically elected government of the United States um, is planning to take their firearms. Well, Obama's been president for almost six years and it hasn't happened. In fact, many of us on the pro-gun control side would argue he hasn't done enough. Um, but I've been through so many of these debates back and forth that um, I'm quite drained with it and uh, I'm not even in America. I can only imagine how much this would get to me if I was actually living there. But as a fellow human being, as a citizen of the world, it bothers me in a very big way because it just doesn't need to be this way and uh, I would hope that responsible gun, gun owners would speak out against the extremists and I regard them as extremists because what they're basically saying is um, in fact the title is come and take it Texas so basically violently threatening anyone who disagrees with them that's what it comes down to And I can't even begin to register this. I, I do believe that uh, the United States has a gun culture. And um, I believe that many American gun owners are reasonable, normal, level-headed, law-abiding citizens. That's not so much an issue for me. But what bothers me greatly is there is now a situation in America where these people, these gun cultists, that is people who care so much about firearms that they think it is more important than dead children, um, they will actually go into coffee shops and shopping centres and restaurants carrying a loaded firearm. Now, I'm not suggesting this is a new thing, but I think it is particularly intense right now because the gun issue has been quite hot in recent years. And... To me, how is uh, another member of the public supposed to know if an aggressive individual strutting around with a firearm, yelling about the Second Amendment, how do they know that person is not about to commit a spree massacre, spree shooting massacre? There's no way to know. Now the thing about gun control, one of the, I mean, all their arguments fall flat. Um, talking about gun cultists they have no rational arguments so they rely on intimidation tactics because their arguments are, are they void but the thing about gun control is no one I've never come across a gun control advocate who has argued or tried to argue that it will completely reduce gun crime that's not the point but common sense dictates that if you make reasonable restrictions on accessing firearms and if you make reasonable requirements on owning a firearm i.e. a background check that will lower the number of people who are mentally unstable who um, shouldn't have access to a firearm or people with a criminal record at the moment it is quite clear that there still remains far too many lax loopholes in the system that allow this allows the situation to continue and the bottom line is this if guns make society safer the United States would be one of the safest countries in the world it's not if you compare it to most European countries it's simply not even if you compare it to Canada or Australia or New Zealand or Japan because this is the thing, gun cultists love to talk about tyranny and um, freedom. But what they arrogantly ignore is that a lot of the gun control legislation in the world is in democratic societies. And whilst I'm not an expert on the American Constitution, I'm fairly sure the founding fathers did not have in their mind the current situation 
of insurrectionist, aggressive, paranoid individuals pushing their way around and threatening their fellow citizens and the government. I'm sure that was not what the Founding Fathers had in mind. Bear in mind, that was written in the 1780s. Completely different time and context. This video is not intended to change any minds, particularly. Um, it's just to express my view on the matter. And I'm deeply grateful. I, I have enormous respect in many ways for the United States and have a lot of um, warmth to the United States. Um, I like America very much, but the gun issue is something I, I can't understand, really. Not in terms of the details, but in terms of I can't understand, I can't accept it. I can't understand the thinking of gun extremists. Now, just to be clear, I'm not talking about gun owners. I'm not talking about the average gun owner who um, thinks about other things in life and who doesn't have an obsession with it and who's a law-abiding citizen and who is objective enough to listen to the other side. Now, I, um, ah, I don't know, I really can't rationalise how these people think. And I think it's scary, actually, that you have a situation where there are people walking around public areas with loaded firearms, and that's okay. I just can't understand how that could be seen as acceptable in the year 2015. Basically, these people are trying to turn America into the Wild West. Again. That's what comes across to me. And it's very disturbing. So, I have massive respect for gun control advocates in the US because it is a very brave position to take. They are a friend. They do face mass massive hostility, but they're actually threatened as well, so to me it takes enormous courage.